Are you wanting to strengthen your core and your pelvic floor, but not quite sure what exercises are best for you, especially if you're struggling with pelvic floor dysfunction? Hi, I'm Dr. Melissa, and this is gonna be the perfect class for you. If you happen to have a pillow or a yoga block, go ahead and grab that, and let's jump right into it. Come down onto your backs, and we're gonna grab that pillow or our block. And I also find that it could be really helpful sometimes if you're having a hard time feeling these abs and the lower abdominal pelvic floor firing up to put a pillow behind your head and your shoulders. We're gonna take that block and pillow, or place it between our knees. I'm offering lots of different options. The most important thing is listening to your body. And we're starting with our breath. That is key throughout this. Gentle breath in. And as we exhale, we're gonna squeeze in and we should feel this gentle drawing, gentle lifting up. We don't wanna see any pushing or doming or coning out. It means we're not doing it correctly. So gentle breath in, exhale, feel this gentle pulling, lifting up. Now option, those legs can stay down just like this, or if you wanna add a little bit more challenge to it, those legs can come up. Just make sure we're not overarching through our back. Nice, gentle breath in, exhale, squeeze. Good, gentle breath in. Exhale, squeeze. Good. Feeling all those different muscles firing up, just using your breath. Good. Continue, keep using that breath. Now, if you're like, Melissa, I have no idea, I can't really feel much going on down there, I'm gonna put lots of different resources for you down below in the description box, so go ahead and check those out. Nice, gentle breath, and squeeze. We're wanting to make sure we're not feeling it up into our neck, so try to soften your neck and shoulders, just these abs and our pelvic floor firing up. Now, if this is continuing to feel really good, you can extend one leg on that exhale. Inhale, bring it back down. Exhale, extend. Good. Just alternating from side to side. If those legs are down, you can do these same exact things. Squeeze that block lengthen out and bring it back in good just starting to wake up our core nice job so we're not constantly gripping and squeezing our core tight the whole time it's this balance between feeling the lengthening and that activation Ooh. I wasn't moving my legs. <laughs> you don't have to be fine. Which one works best for you to really help you engage and then progress as you're starting to feel things more. Nice work. We've got five, four, three, two. Squeeze that block on your exhale. Last one. Nice. Take that blocker pillow out. Lengthen, arms come all the way up overhead. Nice, gentle breath in. Good. We're gonna gently roll onto our right hand side. Lots of options. You can press yourself up onto that right forearm. Take your left leg, extend your left leg out. Our shoulders and hips wanna be stacked. If it's uncomfortable being up, you can always lower yourself all the way down. We're gonna exhale, lift that left leg and then lower it back down. Exhale, lift. Feel this lifting, drawing up of the core. Obliques are starting to kick on. Use that breath, nice work. Now on the exhale as well, we're gonna think of taking that left side of your rib cage and lift it towards the sky. If you're feeling these in all the right places, if you wanna exhale, press and lift, and then drop it back down. Oh, that plant keeps growing. <laughs> Exhale, press and lift, and then drop it back down. Working on just starting to lift the hips. We're lifting them all the way up. Again, lots of different options for you to feel here. Most important thing that we're feeling all those muscles getting fired up. Reach through that back heel, lengthen out. Nice job. Now checking to make sure the shoulders and hips stay stacked because sometimes we start to twist in different positions. Evening everything out for five, four, three, two, last one. Lower all the way down. 
keeping yourself propped up. We're gonna take that left leg, extend your left leg straight out in front of you. We're gonna exhale, lift, and then inhale, lower back down. Exhale, press and lift, and lower back down. And that bottom leg can be wherever is most comfortable for you to help with your balance. That exhale, lifting lower abs, feeling our glutes fire up. Reach through that heel, lean, fitting out. Try not to hold your breath and making sure the breath isn't sneaking up into our neck and into our shoulders. Nice job. Oof, I feel the burn already. <laughs> Good. We've got five, four, three, two, last one. Now we're gonna bring it into tabletop position. We're gonna keep that left leg extending back behind us, press down into the top of that right shin. We're gonna come onto our right forearm, float that left leg up, slight peel open, and then lift and tap it back down. Feeling same thing, those lower abs, pelvic floor on the exhale, gentle lifting up. Keep pressing, reaching through your back heel, lengthening out through that spine. Really slow and controlled. We wanna see how it feels on this side compared to your other side. four, three, two, maybe a little shake, 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 last one, nice job. And then let's bring it on over to our left hand side. So we're gonna be propped up onto that left forearm. You can be resting all the way down. Right leg lengthens back, our right hip is rolled forward. On the exhale, that right side of the rib cage is lifting as we lift the leg up. Exhale, lifting, feeling everything fire up. Ooh, maybe those glutes, a little burn. Good, keep reaching, lengthening out. Use that breath. Nice job. Maybe this side fatiguing a little quicker since we already did the other side. How does it feel? Can you feel the outside of those glutes firing up? If you wanted to add on that press, lift the hips, come back up. Making sure everything is stacked. Nice. Good, we've got five, four, three, two, last one. Lower everything all the way back down to the ground. We're gonna bring that left knee in front. Kick that right leg all the way out. Exhale, lift up and back down. Little lift up and down. Use your breath. How does it feel different? What muscles are firing? What muscles are fatiguing? Keep using your exhale. Maybe you emphasize a little bit more to help it out for five, four, three, two, Last one, sweep that leg back. Come all the way into that tabletop position. Right leg goes straight back behind. Come down onto that left forearm. Float the right leg up. We're reaching, lengthening from the hip. Peel it up, little pulses, lifting straight towards the sky. Exhale. And the same thing, very slow, controlled. We wanna be careful we're not feeling it in our backs, that our backs are staying nice and stable. Reach, lengthen it out, nice job. Keep pressing the top of that left shin down into the ground. Good. Ooh, home stretch. Five, four, three, two, Last one, lower back down, and then we're gonna come all the way down onto our backs for one last exercise. Lots of options with this last one. So we're gonna scoot those heels in towards our sit bones. Place your hands on your thigh. 
On your exhale, we're gonna push our thighs up into our hands. Feel those glutes fire up. Option one, staying here, doing little pulses, feeling everything kick on. Option two, take that left, left foot, little toe tap. Maybe you take that left leg, kick your left leg out. Any of these options work. If the leg is lifted, we're gonna lower and lift, lower and lift. If you have a toe tap, we're tapping down and up. And if you've got both feet down, find which option is working best for you. If you've got that one leg lifted, we're trying to keep our pelvis nice and even. Use your breath. Here we go for five, four, three, two, last one. Now we're gonna take that leg out to the side. Ooh, that's where you're gonna really feel the core kick on to stabilize, bring it back in. Kick it out or bring it in. Now if you have the toe tap, maybe you go out and in, out and in. Which option's working best for you? Use the breath, going out, five, four, three, two, last one. And then we'll switch. So if you're still doing the pulses, keep going up and down, feel those glutes fire. Right toe tap, kicking that right leg straight out. Lift and lower. If you've got the toe tap, maybe you're lifting and lowering those hips. How does this side feel different? What's the stability like? Can you feel the glutes fire up more? Do you have to emphasize that exhale a little bit more? Nice job. Good, we've got five, four, three, two, last one. Now we're going out to the side, bring it back in. Kick it out and bring it in. If we've got that toe tap with the right, we're going in and out. Great job, home stretch, getting that core going, quick little core burn, getting those glutes. Five, four, three, two, last one. Lower everything all the way back down. Just gently bring your knees in towards your chest. And gently pull those knees apart. Take a couple moments, stretch out the glutes. We're sending that breath down, pelvic core muscles. It's really important to lengthen and stretch out the pelvic floor, especially after we asked it to do that workout or any workout that we do. Good. If this is feeling really good, you can stay here a little longer, continuing with your breathing. Good. Gently bring those legs back up. Place those feet back down and just carefully come onto your side. Press yourself all the way back up. Let's take one last cleansing breath in. Lift those arms all the way up overhead. Exhale, bring those hands down towards heart center. Awesome job with that core workout. Remember that it keeps coming back to your breath. That is key. And if you're having a hard time and not quite feeling the pelvic floor and lower abs, go ahead and check out that description box. Lots of different resources for you down below. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. It helps share it with other people looking for similar information. And I would love to know down below in the comments, what would you like to see in future work? out videos. Keep up the good work. Until next time, namaste.